Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Thanks for coming over today. Welcome. It's Friday's free flow and it's also flip through Friday. I have completed my mini magazine wallet junk journal and I thought I would give it a flip through. I was just propping it up with this piece of lace it on an angle and it wants to roll over because when I take off my closure here, uh, you'll see how how it just got really fluffy. So this is it. I did the spine with, I did a tab binding and I will list the, the video to that. Um, and I also added this scrap. Everything is scraps, magazine, little pieces of uh, snippet rolls that I have done. And, and you'll see some repeat items from my other journals too. I have the front and I, I'll just take out the tags and the, um, the items that I've embellished with. So all the tags are done with cardstock that is uh, packaging and also magazine and I have thread and I have done journaling in here. So this was from a Kleenex box. I have, I'm gonna have to hold it in a way that it doesn't want to flip down. There is some this little cluster that I just put together with, again, with scraps. And I've I've put a little um, quotes on little things. Everything is all right, I did that. And also, because this was wallet, paper wallets that I had made and then put together to make a journal, a junk journal, some of the pockets I kept open, like this and like this one, and some of them I've actually gone over and I'll share with you the pockets that I've covered over and just glued them. This is a, again, a scrap. Some of these are um, leftover or misprints from um, some digitals. And here we are. Now this one here, everything really coordinated great. This was a chamomile herbal tea. And I just kept it like this. I made a cluster and I put this, my berry dyed little scraps. I just attached it with a stapler and I made this little, um, just this little tag, little journaling card. And it's from my, one of my seed magazines. And I just added, I love my garden and I'm excited for it. And the colors just all happened. Now, it could be because I've been working with a lot of these things for a little while. And I would come in at night and just through the day and work on it and have some fun. This one I did with you, this little section here, made that. This is a little journaling piece of paper, a little journaling. My little mouse that I made with the pocket that I sewed pocket yeah the pockets at the top I didn't fill all the pockets there's pockets on the top there are pockets on the sides and I just couldn't do it because I wouldn't have I just wouldn't be able to close it and then I'm not sure if you did see this one this one was done with my berry um my berry dyed juice my berry juice and then again just scraps I'm gonna keep this under here I went, I grabbed it. I thought it was in the top. It's from here. There it is. So, and some of these I didn't even decorate because I felt they had beautiful images on them already. And there's that. I can, I, I can put it this way too. This is from the newspaper and it was 1967. So I just wrote about that. This is the tag I made with the, with the video. And I put little by little one travels far and I just did some collage on there, made a tag, journaling tag. There's still a pocket there. Again, some collage. Did some black, um, this is hockey tape that I have and I just used that, it's fabric. And this is a little collaged section here with a tiny 
a cute tiny piece of paper that I just folded in and I took from the newspaper, Be Still, did some journaling on it there with a pink pen and added that. More collage. Another, just again, a bunch of scraps. Did some journaling on there. Piece of a ribbon. Yeah, so some of them I felt they did not need any more than what they already had. Here's an empty pocket, but I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> this is another um, collage. Little napkin and a, a stamp that was from a catalog, but it's not a real stamp. I just cut it to look like a stamp. And we have these flowers, and I just wrote Les Belles Fleurs in my own writing. And then I did this little tag. This year, I'm staying curious and free. And I just wrote that to myself, a little encouragement to continue to be that way. And again, some collage. I made this tag from a, a Kleenex box, the same one. Took some magazine image and I took some of my um, stained receipts and then I wrote here some fun little journaling. I put that one up like that. Again, I did some journaling here. Did not do anything because that was already part of the, the wallet. I did the Humpty Dumpty and I just put reliable driving school. I just thought that was kind of funny to go with Humpty Dumpty who keeps falling off the wall or fell off the wall. And also there's a boat here. I don't know, it just, that's just what happened, came to my mind. I'm gonna put it this way for Humpty Dumpty. I have this fun little cluster that I made with broken jewelry, thread, images from magazines, and some just some collage papers. I have this tag that was a free a free tag, and I wrote on there. And I did some journaling with some of my painty paper, thread. This was from magazine, did some gold dots. This was also a leftover, uh, this was from a Christmas printable, I believe. I can't remember now. And here's some more of my birds. I call them my birds, they're so fun. And some journaling. And some of them I went around with the sewing machine, depending on how big the tag was. This all just happened really fun again. Um, scraps and this was from magazine. This was a big piece of paper that I had. I think it was from a tracing page from when I did uh, toll painting. And then this is a little cluster that I just glued down some fabric lace and then I stamped love, put some gold paint on here. And then this side, I kept some of them very simple because I, again, I was bulking up. And so this was just a bunch of doodles and I put um, circles in the sand. That's what that reminded me of. It just looks like sand. I did some circles. I also did a piece of the 1967 Kingston or, uh, newspaper. And that was part of a comic called Tiffany Jones. And I just cut that and then I did some journaling on the back. And this one, again, some collage on the inside of the page. Kept some of them just the way they were because I liked the coloring and I liked the image. And this is just a simple tag that I made from uh, just some of my painty or stained papers, a fun little piece of fabric that I stamped, and again, just some of my gel print, jelly print, collage, journaling. And 
Now this one here was part of my, the last little bit of a um, graffiti receipt roll that I had done. And I love the colors. I love the way this just happened to fit on there. Oh, I did that. Some more collaging with some images from magazine, a piece of lace. This is just some collage, some tape again, and part of a, um, a directions, a road book from Paris, actually. And this was a glassine envelope that I filled with memories from when we went to see our grandson when he was in preschool. His, well, a different preschool before they moved and they did a little concert so I just cut it apart for memories about that and um, and I just took this paper clip with a label that I made and put that on there and that just sits in there perfectly which is nice and flat and this one is again pieces of this was started out as a an inked receipt and then I used a painty paper and I just put use what you have 2024 and on the front of it I added a little scrap and a fussy cut piece of magazine and then I just did some fancy uh, edging stamping and then I also did some more collage with the scraps that I have and this is very thin, but that worked out quite nice. And then in this pocket, I have a, oops. <laughs> this is a button, a button um, tag, it had buttons on it. And, and then I just made a cluster out of it with, with a bunch of scraps. I had this in my, one of my ephemera albums for a while. So I used that and I had did the corners round and I did not do any journaling on there all I did a little bit right here just sweet memories of sewing with mom and that one fits in here quite nice and over here more collage and again, more collage from magazine and just little pieces of random scraps. I have to make sure I don't have any tags that are lost in there. No, not there. These were all, I'm going to call them misfit um, papers because some of them I've had for a while, didn't have anything to do with them and found them and just glued them on here. Here's some sequins, piece of lace. Here we have this stamp that's reoccurring, Friends are Flowers That Never Fade. I had practiced some stamping off when I made some um, a Diva Sewing Piece project. I did that, and so I had some leftovers. And I made, so I used that here, and I made this out of a piece of random cardstock just stamped on it put my little bit of hockey tape on here <laughs> great little tip if you want some fabric tape hockey tape works wonderfully and that's in that's a staple in our life and then just some journaling on there This one was fun too. Just my own labels. I think I did a, a video on this one. And then I did glue this piece of uh, ribbon, sorry ribbon or binding tape. And I just glued it on here to close off this. I love the colors and I already had so much going on. And this one here, this was from some Happy Mail here. And I made, oh, and I did a little cluster, or a, uh, not a cluster, but a collage. 
And then I made this tag from an, uh, another one of my mom's extra, extra <laughs> business cards. I painted the back. I did some more collage it's from the same seed catalog. There's my friends are flowers that never fade. And some, this is, this, I love this. This is what started it all was when I saw Woodland from the old, the, the antique, or the, sorry, the vintage newspaper. And then I added some to cover up the card, the business card. And then I added some of this, um, what do you call that? Paper towel. That was a paint off paper towel. And then it just kind of morphed into this card, which I thought was very appropriate. Either side works. Very nice. I love that. <laughs> Coming to the end, I have this little cluster that I glued on here. This lady and this flame glow lipstick, these came from my Hollywood antique magazine that my brother gave me. This glamour girl does not even go, but it does. And it's from my daughter's stash. So that was fun. And this one, again, some off misprints or misfit uh, misprints I put on some of my coloring texture um, paper onto this card that I made into a tag and I put together from the newspaper don't lose hope did some journaling on there again with the pink thread my last page is a pocket and I just added this little, um, this is from a magazine, and I just cut it out and traced around it with white pen, Posca pen. And then I had this from my gardening book. And I love the colors, I love the window. So I backed it up with some pink cardstock, and I just wrote, out the window, in the door, or out the door, in through the window. And I put either way is good. And then I did just quote, as long as you go, like as long as we go, either way, we just need to go. We just need to do it. And that is, that's my little, which I just love. Oh, and the back, the back of it, again, 35 cents. This was from the newspaper. And this was from my food and drink um, brochure that I got for free at the liquor store. Just did some mark making. And that is the yummy, fluffy, all full of threads, and just, I love it. I really love it. Well, I hope this inspired you to dig out your scraps. Don't wait to have everything just read, just right. You know, it, our supplies are wanting us to use them use them up and today is a great day to start i hope this encourages you i hope these colors i mean these colors none nothing goes together but it, it all flows i think it does and it's supposed to be inspiring and for me this is great because i can read what i wrote and i know it came from my heart at the time and I have dated some of my cards, some of my journaling. There it is. I flipped through this, well, because I'm working on it back and forth, and uh, it's holding up pretty good now. I did, just, just to let you know, I did put this piece of cardstock on, on it, and you can see how it's curved in there, but, you know, that doesn't matter. And there's my little, I'm going to, tie it up and the tags got a little bit large like as far as width so that I I only have like a little corner to <laughs> to close this off but honestly it's only going to be open if anybody's interested to look at it there there it is. Just start.
thank you very much for coming along today. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Everyone, be adventurous and stay cozy. See you real soon. Bye for now.